Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LC Jim 7 and today we're looking at the Trade Shop plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these mini trade shops. There's a few different types you can make. You can make normal ones where you trade an item one to one, you can have a trade where it requires multiple items, and you can make these admin trades as well. So, we're going to jump into how it works. You can either use signs or you can use commands to create these. So, as an example, I'm going to grab some emeralds and I'm going to go to this trade I made earlier. Now, my other account made this and he wants one diamond for one emerald. So, if I were to right click it, you will see that there is a message in chat. I have traded one of my emeralds for one diamond with LT Jim. And then, obviously, I could click this as much as I like and then he would get more emeralds. Now, because I'm up, I'm able to look in his chest and see that he has 55 diamonds left and nine emeralds from myself which means that you need to fill these chests up with items that you mine or items that you want to trade. And if I were to remove everything from there, it will go out of stock and it says it's currently missing items and I can no longer trade with it. We've got something over here. So this is trading one diamond sword for 32 diamonds. So if I were to grab that in right click, you can see that I got this sword that is enchanted. So you have a wide variety of items and even enchanted stuff, which is cool. Scroll down right to the end and we've got this trade. So if we have four diamonds, uh, what are we going to get? Well, if we do four slash TS and what, this will show you the trade. So the cost is stone and oak planks, just one of each. And if we go back, you can see it will give us 10 diamonds. So let's grab one of these each. So one stone, one oak plank, you need both and that will allow you to get 10 diamonds from this trade shop. Now this is an admin trade shop which means it doesn't need to have anything inside and this is an admin trade shop which is effectively just a free uh, sign so I can just right click this as much as I want it costs me zero and that will give me infinite signs. So you can put those up for just basic items if you wanted. So that is how you would use it. How do you actually make them? Well, the simplest way is using a sign. So we want to do brackets trade on the top line. The second line is going to be the item we're selling. So let's do 32 and then diamond. And then the third line is what we want in return. So maybe one emerald. And there we go. So currently we are looking for one emerald for 32 diamonds. So if I fill this up here, you can see it's open. And then if my other account came along with an emerald, he would trade that for 32 diamonds. So that's one way of making a shop. If you want to create an admin shop, that is very simple as well. You can do iTrade at the top and then you can do any item you want. So one stone, hit done. And then you can right click this as much as you want and it's going to cost you absolutely nothing. You can do the same for an admin shop and you can have multiple items. So if we do I trade in brackets and then done, it is incomplete. So we need to add some other stuff. So if you do TS and then add product with the item you're holding in your hand and hit enter, that will add the product you're trading and then you can add the cost. So go over another item in your hand and you can do add cost. And that will say you need 19 stone to trade for 15 oak signs. Quite random, I know. And then you can also add multiple items to the trade by doing add cost again, for example. That will give this command the TS what. And if you were to do that command, it tells you that you need 19 stone in the chest for 15 oak signs. A very strange trade, but you could do it. So those are the sorts of different uh, trades that you can set up using the signs. And if you do TS help, that's going to show you the commands. So obviously you've got the uh, add cost and add products and set product and set cost. You can also do TS add member. Now, what does adding a member do? Well, adding a member allows them to open the chest and add stuff into it and refill it. And then if you were to do TS add manager, which is a tier above, and the manager allows them to remove members and control the price of the sign and change things on it. So it gives them a bit more permission to edit the whole shop. So that is what you can do in game. It's uh, very straightforward to set up and super easy for your players to make these cool little trade shops to get items that they want. So here we are in the SM Pinion control panel and as you can see there is a config.yml. Let's have a look at what we can change in here. So up at the top we've got a few system options like the data storage type and checking for updates. In the language options we've got the prefix, some color codes and then the statuses so you can edit that if you really wanted. 
Global options, we've got a few things like the max edit distance, allowing certain types of shops and allowing the breaking of signs and chests. Multi-trade, so should that be allowed? And then the default is two and the max is six. We've got some shop options like the max shops per user is five, the max amount per chunk, so there's not too much lag, the max items per trade, and then multiple items on sign, it will say TS what, so people can open the GUI and see what they're getting. Then we've got some options about fireworks, so making sure it's got the correct uh, effect and duration. Then we've got some other options down here to do with explosions and hoppers. And then we've got the iTrade options, which is obviously the server shop where you just get infinite items. And that is effectively everything in the config file, obviously messages, you don't really need to edit this, this is stuff that will pop up in chat. So that is how you could edit it. And then if we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.17. If you need any help, you can join their Discord and there is a wiki down here which will give you more information about everything else in the plugin. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>